Hello and welcome to 11.7 in the Big Ideas textbook series for geometry. We are doing surface area and volume of cones. So we've already talked about volume of taking prisms and pyramids. So kind of the same question here as this cone and cylinder, how are they related? And it is very similar to how the pyramid and the prism is related in that it is the same formula one third, but we take one third of it, so it's pi r squared, so the area of the base times the height, and then we have one third of that. So it's basically the same thing as the relationship that happens between the pyramid and the prism. All right, surface area of a right cone, so the surface area of a cone here, we have to take the area of the bottom, which is gonna be one circle, so pi r squared is gonna be the area of one circle. And then how we now get that lateral area of that cone, we, we take pi times your radius times L, and L stands for your slant height. Okay, so the height of anything is gonna be something like an altitude that comes down and is perpendicular. So the height of this cone starts at that vertex and comes down to that center perpendicular. The slant height is this slant over here that comes down along the edge of what that is, and that is called your slant height. So we take the lateral area plus the base, and so this represents your lateral area and then the area of the base. All right, first question here, find the surface area and volume of the composite. So if we're gonna do surface area, what I'm gonna have is two cones, and the two cones are butted up together, and that actual circle isn't there. So it's really gonna be the lateral area of two cones. So we don't want any of the bases because those are actually not even being shown here, okay? That's where they come together. So we just want the two laterals. So we're gonna do pi r l plus pi r l. All right, so pi, so the radius of both of these is gonna be three, and now we need to find the slant height. So in here, in this first one, if we're gonna use this piece right here, they're telling us that this is four and this is a right angle. So we can take three squared plus four squared equals this slant height squared. So this would be a three, four, five. So this slant height of that triangle or of that cone is gonna be five. Now in the bottom one, if we know this piece and this piece and we wanna find this slant height, we are going to take three squared plus eight squared equals L squared. So when we take three squared plus eight squared, what's that nine plus 64? So 73 equals L squared. So we're gonna take the square root of both sides and it looks like that slant height is gonna be the square root of 73. Now, I don't want to take and put a rounded answer in here and then put everything together and then round again. So I'm actually just gonna put this exact answer of the square root of three in here for my formula. So now we're gonna take 15 pi plus this. So if you put all of that in your calculator, it should come out to be 127.65 and our label here is area, so it is yards squared. All right, problem number two, the volume of a cone is, what is the radius of the cone? And once we know the radius, can we find the surface area? So we need to find two things. We first need to find the radius, and then we're gonna find the surface area of the cone. So surface area is gonna be the area of the base, pi r squared, plus, and then that slant height going around is gonna be pi r L. So I need to do two things here. So the volume of the cone comes from one-third pi r squared times the height. Now we know this volume is 1350 pi and one-third pi. We are looking for the radius and we know the height is 18. All right, so this pi is going to cancel with that pi so we don't have to worry about it. 
And our order of operations tells us that we can multiply by 3 and then divide by 18. And I think we end up with 225 equals radius squared. So now we're going to square root both sides here. And we get 15 centimeters for our radius. So we know our radius is 15 centimeters. So we can fill in now pi times 15 squared plus pi times 15. And now I need to find that slant height. So if I have a little cone here and we found out from this cone that this, if I were to drop this down, this height we know they told us is 18. And they told us, so this is the cone going around here. And then we just found out that this radius of the cone is 15. So what we need is this slant height. So we're going to set up 15 squared plus 18 squared is going to give me my slant height squared. And I think if we multiply those together, we get 549 equals L squared. And I'm going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to take the square root, and I'm not going to find that decimal. I'm actually going to put the square root of 549 in here so that I don't use a rounded answer. And when we multiply all of this now together, the answer comes out to be 1811.01. One, and remember, we were finding the surface area, so it's centimeters squared. All right, what do we have next? The volume of the shaded region. Okay, so I'm going to have a plan here that I am going to take the whole cone and I'm going to subtract from it the top small cone. And then what's left is going to be what's left here down on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take the whole cone first. So the volume is going to be one third, and we have to take the area of the base, pi r squared times the height. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. One third pi r squared times the height. So we have one third pi, and the radius of this bottom to get the whole thing is going to be five squared and the height of the whole thing. So remember, I'm doing the whole cone. So I have to take 9 plus 6 and get 15. Now I'm moving on to this smaller cone that's in here. So I have to subtract from it 1 third pi. Now the radius of that smaller cone is 3 squared, and the height of that smaller cone is 9. All right, it comes out to be something like 125 pi minus 27 pi, and that comes out to be 98 pi, and what do we have? We're talking about volume, so it's inches cubed. 98 pi inches cubed, so this is leaving it as exact terms or in terms of pi. All right, last question. Find the volume of this cone when they give us an angle in here. So volume is one-third area of the base, pi r squared, times the height. So it looks like we do not have the radius this time. We do know the height is 22 feet. So what I'm looking for is my radius so I can square it. All right, so I need to know what this r is. So what do we know from this angle? We know this side opposite, and this is the adjacent. So I'm going to do the tangent of 60, so the tangent of 60, and I'm going to do the side opposite, 22, over adjacent, which is r. So now when I cross multiply these, I'm going to end up with r times r, those r's cancel, and I'm going to divide by the tangent of 60. So 22 divided by the tangent of 60 is what I would put in here. 22 divided by the tangent of 60. Now if you multiply all that out, we should get the answer. Now to be honest, I didn't do it that way. I treated this like a 30-60-90 triangle. And because what we know here is this is a 60 degree angle, and then, so this would be 
30. So they tell us the long leg. So how we find the short leg is we take that long leg and divide by root 3. But I think if you find if you take 22 and divide by root 3 or take 22 and divide by tangent of 60, you should get that same decimal value. So I really have on my paper 1 3rd pi times 22 divided by root 3 times 22. And again, I did leave it as 22 divided by root 3 so that I didn't have a decimal value and plug in a decimal value. All right, this final answer is 3,716.85, and we're talking about volume, so it is feet cubed. Again, it doesn't matter whether you use the tangent or if you use the short leg, long leg relationship in the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Either way, you are going to get the correct answer here. All right, your online homework for 11-7 is waiting for you. Good luck.